Ah, oh, good morning everybody, dinky do. it's just me, Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook just for you. Welcome, 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 10 o'clock in the morning, nothing gets past me, of course, 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning, so absolutely nothing gets past me. How amazing is that? And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure live on Facebook just for you. Come on and let's have your comments, you would be very, very welcome, and uh, come and join us, always good. Good to have you all with us. And uh, I know a lot of you will be doing different things at this time, but a few minutes just to get back together. There's Paul joined us, Alan's joined us, Jane's joined us. I mean, how amazing is that? Just wonderful to be getting together. I've obviously been doing a lot of broadcasting uh, and live on TikTok at Scotty McClue. We pop up live there very often. And we used to pop up on Facebook all the time, of course, but haven't for some time. So some of you will be a little bit rusty with Scotty McClure, a little bit out of practice. There we are, but not to worry. I've been having quite a lot of uh, argy bargy. Alan says, you ain't been on for ages. You're quite right, Alan. It's too long. It's amazing how quickly the time passes. And I thought to myself, you know, it must be the better part of a year since we've actually popped up live on Facebook to see everybody. So it's just wonderful to be back with you. I know we all keep in touch with our messages. I've been trying to explain to the Scottish nationalists um, how important it will be to keep the Queen, keep the status quo. And of course, the argy bargy is absolutely huge. Amazing stuff. Andy's joined us. Good morning, Andy. And Gavin's joined us. Lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet, all uppercase. And uh, of course, the one stop broadcaster, the one most humble man and the father of feminism. So these are quite a good array of titles for you there. One of stuff, you're going to be back on radio during 10 p.m. to 1 p.m. We're always in discussion, Alan, because your problem is that radio now has just become a jukebox in the UK. There's a couple of companies own most of the stations. All the localness has virtually disappeared. It's a different ball game. The local managers have disappeared, and the ones that are around are very risk averse because obviously they fear for their own job, so they don't want to go for anything too big that might uh, be hot to handle. And uh, Scotty McClure, of course, brings the audience and brings the income, brings the money in. I think we we made really millions and millions of pounds for uh, for media moguls over the piece. I didn't get that, of course, but they did. So that's good. I hope they enjoyed it. Brian's joined us. Lovely to have you with us. And Peter, good morning, sir. Good morning, Peter. Lovely to have you with us, Peter. Why there? Excellent stuff. If you're on from far afield, do tell us where. What we tend to do on the TikTok lives is see where people are from. And I get a huge amount of people from America, which is just tremendous. They don't know what they're missing. The phone lines would be jammed. Alan, I was just thinking, and nobody has ever beaten this. I had quarter of a million people in across central Scotland every half hour for three hours, five nights a week. Now, that's pretty good, isn't it? And that's never, ever been beaten. And we could go back to that big, big pennies. Daryl Dinky do. Hello from Shettleston. We love you out in the Shettleston there. Dinky do. Welcome, Daryl. John's watching. Hello, John. Nice to have you with us. Dinky do. Good morning, Lord McClure. Good morning to you, John Cox. Uh, that was Scott FM days. Scott FM. Scotty McClure is 29 years old. The Scotty McClure nightline. 29 years old last week. How about that? So I'm now in my 30th year of broadcasting and talk radio. So there are Paul's watching us. Dinky do, Paul. Nice to have you with us. Good morning from Blackpool. Brian, lovely to have you with us from Blackpool. Scotty McClure's old stamping ground. How much fun did we have in Blackpool? And of course, Red Rose Radio. That was the big one. I don't know if you still got it. You've got Rock FM, I believe. And uh, I was Red Rose Gold, 9.99 a.m. Now I believe Magic Radio. But it may even have changed since then. Welcome, welcome, though. I hope Blackpool is in good heart after the lockdown, after the pandemic.
Fantastic stuff. Get yourself back on air. Yes, I will, Daryl. I mean, the TikTok is pretty big. I mean, I've been on TikTok for about seven weeks. 600,000 people have already watched. 16,000 have followed and 37,000 have clicked like. Now, that's not bad for a few weeks' work, is it? So there you are. Wonderful stuff. And that's at Scotty McClure on TikTok. If you're a TikToker, you should be joining us. The stacks and stacks of TikTok videos. The other big one, of course, is the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. And there's 1,500 videos for your edification, enjoyment, education, and delight. Wonderful. Scotty, how can I get one of your badges? I know, John, they are so sought after. I'll have to get some printed. They're not mirrored on here. I don't know if Facebook can mirror the other way so you can read the writing. It says, Scotty McClue, think you do. Is that the right way up or the wrong way up? Uh, on Scott FM was the lovable lassie actually good looking? Oh, Alan, I had two lovable lassies and they were stunners. So there you are. Fantastic. Never a dull moment for Scotty McClue, I say. Then we had the gentleman, the wizard of the big switchboard in Manchester. Great guys. Wonderful. We had about uh, four wizards of the big switchboard. How good is that? Tremendous. There's the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Good morning, Gordon. How lovely to have you with us. One of my favorite broadcasters. Gordon, I'm not sure if you heard, but we had a big discussion on TikTok one night. Who was my favorite newscasters? And you featured Big Style on there, along with uh, Alistair Burnett and Sandy Gall. And uh, who else did we have? Gordon Honeycomb. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yes, John Suchet. That sort of thing. And Gordon Ruddick, one of our best newscasters ever in Scottish broadcasting. Kenneth Clark, dinky do Hello from the Lead Hills. Are the Lead Hills, Ken? Yes, I, uh, I know them well. One lockhead. Hopefully Scotland allowed to move into leave. <clears throat> Hopefully Scotland allowed to move in to leave. Tell us more about that, Daryl. I don't quite understand that one. Angus, lovely to have you with us. Angus Martin, Jim Ferguson, John Toy. Now, there was an excellent newscaster as well, and God knew John Toy very well. John Toy was actually a first-class actor, and his father had been something very big in opera. I think he was uh, number one at the Royal Opera House. And then I think, as very often happens in uh, the creative industries, somebody backstabbed his father. I think that was the story. And uh, John said that when he died, and he died too young, uh, he sadly took his own life. But when John uh, said when he died, he would like John Toy actor on his gravestone. Wonderful man. Yes, I remember John very, very well indeed. David Young, dink you do. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Angus. Excellent to have you joining us this morning. This was a bit of an afterthought, but I thought, my goodness, it must be months since I've popped up live on Facebook. Uh, nobody can beat Jackie Bird. There we are. Absolutely, John. Uh, Daryl, dink you do. Gordon, thanks for the mention, Scotty. Not at all, Gordon. A privilege and a pleasure as ever. And thank you for all your support over the years. Do you know it's uh, it must be something like 35 years since we all met at Scottish Television. Yes, the wonderful Bill Brown was the managing director. And, uh, and Lewis Hind, the great Lewis Hind, one of the finest company secretaries in Scotland. And all the other marvellous people that used to join us in there. Good morning from uh, Scott at Tishkur Radio in Air. Tell us a bit more, Scott. Uh, good God, there you are, Scotty. Dinky you do from the USA. It's all in your delivery. Ah, Paul, I thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. Scotty, you could do a show in an online station. I know, Daryl, but as I say, the TikTok is huge. You know, 600,000 people viewing me in the last six, seven weeks, you know. Uh, do you remember Bill Tennant? I do remember Bill. I didn't actually know Bill, but he was a great guy. He'd left Scottish television when I joined. But I remember Bill Tennant coming to Murrayfield in a beautiful, uh, navy blue Vauxhall Viscount 
with STV1 as its number later. It was on a powder blue Daimler. There we are. Do remember, yes, we all remember Bill Tennant. There was an excellent broadcaster. I think Bill was also an hotelier out in the south side of Glasgow as well. But yes, I do remember Bill. Fantastic. Um, he was kind of Mr. STV along with Arthur Montford, the sports guy, uh, Gordon Roddick, newscaster, announcer, and transmission controller. And uh, who else did we have um, at the start? Uh, Michael O'Halloran. Yes, Michael was there. Clem Ashby. Fantastic. Steve Hamilton. These were all great announcers. Tony Curry. Do you remember Tony? Wonderful stuff. I miss Shireen Nanjiani. She was very good, yes. Yes, it did. Shireen, fantastic. Sheena McDonald. Remember Sheena as well? Haig Gordon. These were all Marion White. These are all great broadcasters. And, of course, uh, who else did we have? Oh, um... Oh, with, with a whole variety of people when I look back about it. And then there are all the wonderful people behind the scenes. Arthur Montfort's jackets were like your bonnet. They were. Arthur was a lovely, lovely gentleman. I knew him well. He was a, a fellow Grenokian. There we are. Speak soon. I'm off to make a cheeseburger. Daryl, good for you. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Cross Hill. Fantastic, Angus. I don't want to press see more in case I lose you all. That can happen. I could lose you all. So there we are. If you can join us, guys, on the TikTok, it's uh, growing at an incredible rate, and you'd be very, very welcome. There we are. See if you can make sense. I've made some very, very uh, intelligent comments, of course, about uh, Her Majesty the Queen making sure that she remains with us as head of state, and uh, that would give independence a chance. If, of course, there's any even a breath of a republic, then independence becomes toast. So there we are. John Toy, yeah, we've just been talking about John. Have a lovely cheeseburger, Daryl, if you're off to do that. Fantastic stuff. We shall do more pop-ups because I think uh, they're always welcome. And I know a lot of people are out at work at the moment. Arthur Montford was my grand's friend and neighbor. Absolutely, Kenneth. He was a very, very nice guy. Arthur, and he always had time for every day, and he would come up and speak to you, and I would think, I'm talking to Arthur Mudford, <laughs> but it was wonderful, I got to meet everybody in, in ITV, really, uh, and somebody once said, if uh, Lou Grade was alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens, isn't that nice stuff, and it's not too late, there's a lot of life in this dog yet, I can't tell you. So there we go. Now, uh, I think it's time I wasn't here. I shall push off. Lovely to be with you all. Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us. And um, come and follow us on Facebook. Uh, if we can't get you on, then actually follow, because I think we're almost up at our limit for Facebook friends. Remember, there are several Facebook pages, so put in the Scotty McClure pages and get that. My other grand neighbor, was Magnus Magnuson. I remember Magnus very, very well. Yes, again, a very nice man. Nice family, the Magnusons. And, of course, I've met Sally eh, as well. Uh, Scotty, what do you think of the Indiana Jones film in Glasgow? John, I am delighted they're filming a major movie in Glasgow. I wouldn't have minded a small part. I would like a small part in a major movie. So if anybody's watching there... Scotty McClure's your man for saying dinky do. The rest of it. I might even play a baddie. Somebody that uh, that uh, <laughs> that Lenny on River City would be frightened of. That sort of idea. Um, Scotty, what? Uh, oh, they were filming near the Red Hills too. Ah, excellent, Kenneth. Yes, indeed. The Wan Lockheed. Wonderful, the Lead Hills. Highest village in Scotland. Am I right or am I correct? Do tell. Fantastic. Right, I better dash off. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery. Oh, thanks for watching. Take great care of your dear selves. Have a lovely day and dinky-doo.